Hey guys, so yeah, it looks like Mike Waddell has made a public appearance. Wow. And the MetaZoo fans roar in amusement, right? They love it. They love it. So I don't know this Bailey guy very much. I, I'm not a big fan of Whatnot. You know, I think Whatnot is quite shady, but you know, hey, I guess Bailey is a big seller on Whatnot. He promised that they would get Mike Waddell, and they got Mike Waddell. He looks a very different Mike Waddell than the Rudy interviews, which have now been deleted, of course, right? Got to hide those uh, multiple interviews with Mike Waddell, gifting Rudy free product that he would then later sell for tens of thousands of dollars to some Timmy's and is now worth maybe hundreds of dollars, if that. Um, so check out Nick and Nick's strength in Pokemon. He has a good take on it. My take is a little different legally. So Mike has no power. It seems like he's been kicked out. It seems like he wants to do bankruptcy. He wants to get the game, you know, pay out off as many debtors as possible and then just revive the game from there which indicates to me that they currently don't have enough money and he may have sold the his shares to somebody else and that someone else can do whatever they want with it. They don't need to listen to Mike, right? They own the company. They can throw out product. They can sell product that's not released. They can sell grail product that isn't supposed to hit the market. They can do whatever they want. They own the company. And that's the problem when you have partners and they get majority share. You learn very fast in life that 51% is as good as 99 or 100% in many cases when it comes to business. Now, I don't know if Mike Waddell is going to find a lawyer and then send it to bankruptcy. That's very expensive. And in my experience, people who don't have money cannot hire lawyers. So they're probably not really, you know, going to go that legal route for the bankruptcy. So Mike would need to hire a lawyer to send it to bankruptcy. And I don't think he has the money. He seems a little stressed out, uh, if you will. He, he seems like a lot. He seems like a totally different dude. I thought he had glasses and a cat. And now the background is kind of weird, right? I mean, it's not the nice background that he had before. This is a really weird Represent like no if no one's seen you for three months and you've just been lying this whole time You made a roadmap that you obviously didn't keep and then you kind of uh, sunk the ship if you will and Your first appearance you look a little bewildered You're like, you know the, the angle that this is a, this is really bizarre stuff, right? Uh, do I believe MetaZoo can come back? No, there's a lot of people telling you to buy the dip They're also the people selling you the dip our good friend Argos Anonymous still hasn't made a video, which is weird in my personal opinion, right? He's very vocal about this. He should be very happy. And our good friend Alpha Investment has continued to delete more multiple videos. And now he won't comment anything about MetaZoo, even though for MetaZoo, this is really big news. Uh, Mike Waddell is, what, what is he? He's a cryptid, right? <laughs> like you see him once a blue moon, right? Once a harvest moon. He's a cryptid. So I think Nick's strength in Pokemon is good take on it. My take is he can't do shit, man. This is a man who sold his company to somebody, maybe Steve Aoki, maybe Jeff Wilson. I don't know who bought the company or where the company is, but um, this is a guy with very little control. If you own 51% of the company, you can send it to bankruptcy. It's really easy. to do. You have voting shares. That's why you have 51%. For him to lose control of a company, I don't really know how that that happens without him selling a share. I mean, I assume that at one point he owned 100%, maybe give Steve Aoki some percentage and so on and so forth. But I, I just don't really see the interest in MetaZoo that would... So oh, best case scenario, okay? It goes to bankruptcy. All the debt is forgiven. Do you think that printer in China is going to work with you? No, you're going to have to find another printer, which might be best for you. You've lost a lot of fan bases because they, some of the debt is players that you owe money from, owe money to, and also the the kits, right? These pre-order things that they're never going to get. So you've lost all the goodwill that took lots of money to build up. Lots of collector cons, and you might not even be able to go to collector con no more because they probably don't want you back if you owe collector con money and in bankruptcy. So people think, oh, bankruptcy is really easy. 
nah, man, those vendors that you work with, that you, they're, they're not going to get 100 cents on the dollar. They're going to get maybe 5, 10 cents on the dollar. That's why you're bankrupting, right? Because you don't have the money to pay it. Um, they're not going. No, they're never going to work with you again. And you know, other companies are going to look at your company and be like, "Okay, you went through a bankruptcy. We don't want to work with you because we're afraid that you're going to do, or are you going to pay us up front? You know, you're going to pay us everything up front before we print a single card. I want the whole order of cards paid up front, and that can make it more difficult." Uh, as for the uh, MetaZoo community, I mean, I think it's, you know, it's one last gas. It's one gas after night. It's just let it die, right? I mean, at the end of the day, like, what is there left to save? Uh, Mike's reputation is as a CEO of business. Would you trust Mike to run your business? The answer is no. I would not trust Mike to run a banana stand, honestly, at this point in time. Because he would burn down the banana stand. Probably like within a week of trading, he would burn down the banana stand because that's what he did with MetaZoo. So I, I think it's interesting. The obviously he addresses the dumpster fire, which is the little dumpster, the grail is being sold. Like he's not an idiot. This type of stuff doesn't like encourage people to invest more money in this game. I still at this point don't own a MetaZoo card, right? But from a legal and even a card thing, like what can we learn from this? Let me put it this way. MetaZoo without alpha investment is nothing. Let me get straight to the point. Without alpha investment, without pay money while be, it's nothing. It is nothing. Those two people push the game to, and even Steve, you could say Steve Ioki, card card. But these influencers... Like, look at what Alpha Investment has done. He's deleted any positive videos, including in multiple interviews with Mike Waddell, looking much younger and much happier. Um, and he won't talk about it. He won't talk. He won't mention the name of it. That's how bad it is. And his face is literally plastered. A forty-year-old dude from Florida is plat. I mean, he is the game. So Alpha and then Pay Money Wabi has a promo too. Uh, he, the, these guys are the game and now they're no longer going to do the game because they feel like it's been treated very poorly and they have other opportunities and sorcery or grading company, whatever else they're working on. I don't know, man. I, I think at the end of the day, uh, you, I mean, you reap what you sow, right? I do think that there are people in the meta zoo community that do deserve better than this. Not many, but some. And they're being, instead of being able to move on. Uh, so let me tell you about this movie, uh, this Amazon series I was watching with my girlfriend called Expats. And it was a woman who was living in Hong Kong. She was from the, uh, New York City. And her husband was working there and she was doing some other work. She lost her son in Hong Kong. He was kidnapped or something. We don't know what happened with her, with him. And she just kind of continues to look for him. And then one day, the police in China report, oh, we found your son. And then so her husband and her immediately go there. And they're, you know, in one aspect, the husband is praying that it is, you know, it is when they mean they found your son, we found your son and he's dead, right? We found a body. Uh, in one aspect, the father is praying and he's like, you know, am I a bad person? I'm praying that that the son is actually our son and he's dead so we can finally move from Hong Kong. We still have two other kids. They're suffering because of this, right? So he's, you know, the, the wife is not leaving Hong Kong because she believes that she can eventually find him, the kid, as long as there's any hope. And this is why hope can be so destructive in many parts in life. As long as you have a tiny bit of hope, you hang on to it. You desperately grab, and and, you're, and her whole family suffers. There's two kids suffer. It's a really good series. I think it, Nicole Kidman. So while she was looking for her son that she lost, uh, she, her daughter and her uh, older son and her um, husband and their family they really suffered because they wouldn't see chains and she was not a good mom and she was. You know, always spending time and the movie I'm not gonna spoil the movie's ending but it's a real real thing right people 
don't they grieve in a very different way and whenever there's hope they kind of hold copia and they they uh can hold on for much longer because they're just they're they're looking for any reason to hold on to this card game and i think it's in such financial and legal status that there's no survival rate that the survival rate and without alpha investment what is this game I'm 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 asking you a question. What is this game about Alpha Investment? If he doesn't come back to it, what are you guys going to do? Real question. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.